Okay, guys, let's look at an example or two for circumference. So example number one, if I have a circle with a radius of two centimeters. Okay, so it's a radius. It goes from the center to the edge. So we're going to use this formula. Circumference is two times pi times radius. So all we do is we substitute 2 in for r. So 2, we said pi was going to be 3.14 times the radius, and r stands for radius, so we're going to put in 2. So 2 times 3.14 times 2 is 12 and 56 hundredths, and we're going to do centimeters. So if they give us diameter, we will use this formula. If they give us radius, we can use this formula. So let's do some practice problems. So let's find the circumference, so we know that's distance around. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So again, remember our formula is pi times diameter, or circumference is 2 times pi times radius. So in this case, we have a radius. It goes from the center to the edge. So this is r. So we have 2 pi radius. So we're going to have 2 pi is 3.14. Our radius is 4.5, or 4 and 5 tenths. Multiply them. Two times 3.14 times 4.5. 28 and 26 hundredths. It says round to the nearest tenth, and we know that this is the tenths place value. So we can see that our circumference is 28 and 3 tenths meters. Okay, number two, five centimeters. Again, this is our radius. So we're using 2 pi r. Circumference is equal to 2 times pi times radius. Substitute our radius in for r. So we have 2 times 3.14 times 5. 2 times 3.14 times 5 is 31 and 4 tenths centimeters.